At Carbine3D, we believe in giving you value even after you've purchased one of our machines. We continue to improve Carbide Create, our CAD and CAM software. A couple of months ago, we encouraged you to get on the beta so you could be up to date on all the latest features and capability of the already robust platform that we provide. Well, we've done it again. Version 7 is out now. Let's give you all the details on the changes and the power we're putting in your hands. A couple of notes as we get started here. Once we get a stable version of Create, it moves to the normal download site. If you're watching this video a while after it was put out, read the build number on the download page to know where you are. The beta is always the cutting edge of features for Create and Motion. The way to keep both on your machine, number your versions of Create or Motion by changing the program names. I simply add the build number to the end of the program. That way, if I do have some issue, I can go back and use the regular stable build if the beta does something unexpected. We are continually adding features and I encourage you to be on the beta. Finally, you must pair any 700 version of Carbide Create with version 565 or later of Carbide Motion. Version 7 is fundamentally different. Any file saved in version 7 will no longer be operable in version 6 of Carbide Create. Best thing to do? Move to version 7 and never step backwards. Our overall goals are to help you automate and streamline what you do regularly. Whether that's coasters, flags, cutting boards, coins, doing variations on a theme is now more efficient. We've implemented a single file format workflow. The .c2d files you're used to creating with Carbide Create will now be loaded directly into Carbide Motion. One file type to rule them all. Next up is the expression editor. This will allow you to enter values in either measurement system to any file and perform simple math to create values. Use of the equals button is critical. For instance, if you wanted to enter a metric value for a circle into an imperial project, enter 25mm, then press equals. Carbide Create will evaluate and convert the 25 millimeters to the equivalent imperial value. The editor will also allow you to enter a diameter measurement instead of a radius. Enter the diameter, then slash for divide, and two, then equals. Create performs the math and gives you the corresponding radius. You can also combine the above two capabilities. Enter a circumference measure in millimeters, enter slash two, and hit equals. Create performs both the conversion and the math to give you the radius in Imperial. The expression editor really shines in the toolpathing dialog. When setting your max depth for an operation, you can enter T. This stands for thickness. By leaving T as the setting for thickness, Create will automatically adjust the depth to equal the stock thickness you entered in the design dialog. Notice here, the circle on the left is set to T. The circle on the right is set to 25 millimeters, which is our defined stock thickness. At this point, both circles cut through the stock in the simulation. After I alter the stock to 30 millimeters thick and return to the simulation, the left-hand side is still cutting through, the right-hand side is no longer going to the bottom of the stock. Cutting the same program on multiple thicknesses of stock or in different materials just got easier. Another quick feature is setting a cut-through amount. If you wanted to be sure and get that last little bit of stock or leave a tiny onion skin, you can enter a modifying amount to T. Enter T plus 0.1 for a bit of cut through. Or you can leave a specified amount of material, perhaps in a pocket. Enter T minus two. Those pockets will always have a two millimeter thick bottom no matter the thickness of the stock. Go and play with the expression editor to get a full handle on it. Tabs can now be assigned to any vector inside the design dialog. You can place and remove them as needed. Once you get to the toolpathing dialog, you will then define their size. If you reposition the vector, the tabs will follow. One thing here, if you displace the individual tab position by altering the shape of the vector, you will need to replace it. That's just a click away. Text on an arc. You can now put your text on an arc, either a top or a bottom. This is also in conjunction with the live updating text, so you can see the positioning, size, and placement of the font you've chosen as you are making the selections in the dialog. Drag the center and the reference points to adjust your art. Bring on the circular signs. Go ahead, experiment with the tool and you'll find yourself creating new designs. Toolpaths can be linked to layers. Whole layers can now be assigned to particular toolpath and settings. For light production of a particular format, this is a game changer. 
If you make flags or coasters or modify cutting boards, something with a regular series of toolpaths, you will now be able to assign the art to a layer which contains toolpath settings. Drop trays with a pocketing layer and an engraving layer. Customize the art, change nothing in your toolpathing, cut some unique and new version of a previously designed object. A new and different way for you to think about your projects. This represents a major change to our software, and you'll find we're not done. More refinements and features are yet to come. Download Carbide Create along with the current build of Carbide Motion and keep making great stuff. We'll be back with more information, ideas, and inspiration.